Hey guys, it's Friday on the Baby Beaver Bunch, and I'm Lydia. Uh, this week we're talking about how we feel if our love interest, let's say, has been with, had sex with a guy. I just spoke to someone about this, actually. Someone at my school asked me about this, um, a trans guy at my school. He said he was uncomfortable because his girlfriend had previously had sex with guys, basically. And there's no real way to avoid that. I mean, especially as a trans straight guy. Like Ryan said, you're gonna date straight girls who have been with guys, especially as you get older. People are more experienced, whatever you want to say. I guess you just have to get used to the fact that people will be with other people. When you're a teenager and you want someone to only love you and only have been in love with you and it's all a big new whatever i'm guessing that wears off as you get older because everyone has had one of those experiences when you're like infatuated with someone maybe not infatuated but you like were head over heels in love with them and you wanted only to think of them and you wanted them only to think of you and no one in the future or past could meet up to your standards or whatever you know i think just with time it'll kind of wear off your uncomfortable feelings because of that. The only real suggestion I can make is um, just talk to your girlfriend. It might be awkward if she doesn't know that you like her or something, but if the fact that someone has had sex with a guy before is keeping you from pursuing a relationship with them, and that's the only factor, then you probably don't really like her that much. Unless it has to do with, like, STDs as Mariah brought up. If we factor those out, <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't matter so much. I have a girlfriend right now who has had a boyfriend previous to me, a cis guy boyfriend. It feels weird to think about her doing anything with him, like kissing even. And so the way I cope with that for myself, just like the way I cope with a lot of things, is just by making fun of her and making it all into a big joke and making her uncomfortable instead of making me uncomfortable. I don't know him at all and like, uh, I don't know anything about his character so I'm not like attacking him personally, I'm just making generalized jokes that lighten the, you know, awkwardness I guess. So there's not really anything in particular that you can do to like get over it. It's uh, really a subjective thing, like you have to figure it out for yourself and with time, I'm hoping, it'll fade and you'll get used to it when you have more experience and when your partner has more experience or the person you want to be with. When everyone has more experience, things matter less. That's it, I guess. Sorry if I sound all tired and whatever. I um, was out till 8 this morning at Disneyland at night, like from 8 at night to 8 in the morning. And I'm really dead tired. And I actually have to go pick up my girlfriend from the airport at like 9. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be cool. Maybe you'll see her on my personal channel. Probably not, because she's lame. Not really, but, you know. Okay, so I will see you guys next week, which will be my last day of school. And if you're having prom tomorrow, like my school is, then have fun. And like Mariah's school is, be safe and all that lame advice that no one listens to. See you later, guys.